Hello students, welcome to Alpha's e-learning. So we finished up to the magnification and different types of magnifications, lateral, longitudinal and also angular magnification. So even if finally the magnification formula is we are getting m is equal to v by u, this is a magnification formula. This formula is valid for both convex and concave lens. It is common for both convex and concave. But here while solving the problems, when you are going to find the magnification of image formed by an object by convex lens or by concave lens, then again we have to use the sign convention. It's a very very important point. Then next go for another one. Already we derived that the relation between the magnification and focal length of the lens. That magnification equal to f by f plus u. This is the magnification formula. That in terms of focal length of a lens. Whereas the same kind of formula we discussed earlier in case of spherical mirrors. That formula is what makes the difference here? This is m is equal to f by f minus u. This is the magnification formula for spherical mirrors. It is for spherical mirrors, it is for lens. And in both the cases, of course, a small difference is there. So here, the general magnification formula in case of spherical mirrors, there we discussed m is equal to minus v by u of t. This is in case of uh, spherical mirrors, that is the magnification formula. But in case of lens, the magnification formula V by U plus V by U. Here minus V by U. This is in case of uh, spherical refracting surface. And this formula is valid for both concave mirror and convex mirror. Okay. And this is for convex and concave lenses, it is common. We can use this formula. It is valued for convex and concave lens. And similarly, this is the magnification formula. This is also magnification formula. This is the formula for spherical mirrors. And this is magnification formula for lenses. And this formula is valued for both convex and concave lenses. This is valued for both convex and concave lenses. This is also valued for both convex and concave lenses. Okay. The next go for uh, here the situation sorry image formation by convex lens. And before going to this image formation by convex lens and the magnification it can be positive it can be negative. So the magnification can be positive whenever the image formed which is erect comparing to object whenever it is inverted the image is inverted when compared in the object the magnification is taken to be negative so keep in your mind whether it is real image virtual image convex lens concave lens so it doesn't matter here the magnification whether it is negative or positive can be decided by the orientation of the image comparing with object. If image formed is inverted comparing to object, then its magnification is taken to be negative. If it is erect comparing to the object, then magnification is taken to be positive. So this kind of discussion made in case of spherical mirrors already and the same we can imply to the lenses also here the magnification will be positive it can be negative it can be positive it can be negative and positive and negative which can be decided by the orientation of image if image is inverted negative erected positive comparing with the object okay now Go for uh, image formation by convex lens. Image formation by 
con excellence. See here, this is the position of object and the ray diagram. Next, position of image and nature of image. Right? At different situations, object is keeping at different locations and corresponding image. So, we go for image orientation and image formation, whether it is real or virtual and what happened its magnification, everything we will discuss over here, one by one. So, first one is position of the object. Now, so object is at infinity. When object is keeping at infinity, the ray diagram, parallel beam of light which is principal axis and after refraction, the light rays are come to focus, giving its image at focus point. Therefore, image formation is at focus point and it is a real image, inverted image and point size, extremely small in size, point size. Of course, it is a real image which should be inverted, which should be inverted. Therefore, its magnification is taking inverted image magnification negative, but very small in size, point size, m less than, less than, minus 1. So, how we can take this is inverted? How do you decide it is point size? So, very simple. By taking parallel beam of light, I can give one more uh, example. A ray, ray diagram, parallel beam is incidenting like this. So, after refraction, these uh, light rays are come to focus. These light rays are come to focus here. So, here from point object, object is at infinity. So, image formed is also point size, but it is point size is uh, above the principal axis. Its corresponding point size image is below the principal axis. So, when we comparing this image, that will be reversed, comparing to the object, therefore, it is inverted image, therefore, its magnification taken to be negative, and uh, it is small in size, therefore, m is less than, less than, minus 1, okay? Next, go for uh, another point, position is changing here, the position of the object is changed, see here, beyond 2f. When object is keeping beyond 2F and uh, taking the ray diagrams, ray diagrams, uh, diagrams are very important, already given important ray paths. Okay? Earlier video, so I, I was explained clearly that, so ray diagrams corresponding to convex lens and also concave lens, important ray diagrams, which definitely helps us to uh, decide the location of image by the ray diagram. So here, a ray is parallel to principal axis, other is passing through center and these two come to focus and giving its image in between focus and uh, in between F and 2F and that between F and 2F, this is the position of, position of image. Here, real, inverted, small in size when comparing the object, small in size, therefore M is less than minus 1. White is a negative sign, again, okay. it is inverted comparing to object. Next, go for other position that at 2f, exactly, the object is keeping at 2f, it is keeping at 2f, then its corresponding image is formed at 2f, at 2f. So here, final image is real, inverted and uh, having same size as that of the object means it is inverted image, therefore magnification negative, but having the same size as that of the object. So object size and image size both are equal in this case. And go for another one, between F and 2F, object is keeping between F and 2F and its corresponding image is formed in between 2F and infinity. So that is, it is infinity. And this is 2f, 2f and uh, infinite in between, the image is found. So when we observe this is inverted, uh, definitely magnification negative. And it is, uh, its size is, comparing with the size of the object, it is magnified big size. Therefore, here, in this case, real, inverted and magnified, m greater than minus 1. So 
these are the images formed by the lens when object is keeping at different situations different situations so image is giving at different locations and their nature and their magnification uh, in all the cases it is negative right so let us go for another case yeah next position of the object object is keeping at focus point and its corresponding image goes to infinity so when a object is at infinity image formed at focus when object keeping at focus its corresponding image goes to infinity at infinity real inverted highly magnified therefore here inverted and negative magnification m greater than greater than minus the next one is when object is keeping in between focus in the pole of the first refracting surface so this is pole and this is a focus point in between these two object is keeping now its corresponding image formed is virtual on the same side as that of the object or that in between that in between object and infinity anywhere so this is object and uh, infinity infinity and object in between anywhere so its corresponding image is formed which is virtual erect and magnified therefore here magnification is erected it is uh, same orientation as that of the object same orientation as that of the object therefore it is erected image therefore its magnification taken to be positive according the fundamental already given so magnification positive therefore m is greater than plus 1 so these are the um, uh, images formed by the convex lens when object is keeping at different situations and different different positions and corresponding image formed is uh, seen so here except the last point whenever the object is keeping between focus and the pole so remaining all cases the image formed by the convex lens or converging lens that is the real for real object image formed by the convex lens will be the real for real object except one case whenever the object is keeping in between focus and the pole of the spherical refracting surface pole of the lens okay so except this case remaining all cases the image formed by the convex lens or converging lens which is real for real object and let us go for concave lens yeah in case of concave lens so object is real this is the real object real object so when object is keeping anywhere else from infinity to pole of the spherical refracting surface of this concave lens so keeping anywhere else the real object in front of this concave lens or diverging lens and it forms virtual image always for real object always virtual for real object okay when object changes then corresponding result will also change now in this case object is real when ray is parallel to principal axis after refraction so it is a diverging light and one ray is uh, traveling along this optic center yes whenever these two light rays are extended back they gives interception point here this interception point is giving position of the image this is image this is object now this image is by extending back so image position is decided and this is virtual image and this virtual image is in this case is it is erected image so its orientation is same as that of the object therefore it is erected image if it is erected then its magnification taken to be positive 
magnification is positive. So already given this point, whether the lens is convex or lens is concave, okay, real image or virtual image, it doesn't matter. So magnification, its sign is decided by the erect or inverted. If image is erected, magnification positive. If image is inverted, magnification negative. That's all. Now in this case, so image formed is virtual. So this virtual image, its magnification is small in size. Therefore, M is less than plus 1. M is less than plus 1. Because the image formed by the concave lens, which is small in size, small in size comparing to object. And this image is virtual. Actually, image formed is so image formed is virtual, 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 erect, erect, small in size, small in size, and its magnification is here yeah, less than plus one. So plus one, why we are taking positive? It is a erected image. And it is a small in size comparing to the object, therefore m less than plus 1. So, a very common statement that at any position of the real object, at any position of the object, and the concave lens gives virtual image for real object, for real object, whereas convex lens gives real images, real images except one case, all the cases, so convex lens is giving a real image for real object. Only one case in which the image is virtual. That is, whenever object is keeping in between focus and pole of the lens. Okay? So, this is a nature of the image that is given by the concave lens. And the nature of image that is given by con excellence, all are covered in this part. Okay? Let us move on another one. So, next go for lens makers formula. So, it is also very, very important concept. Lens makers formula. So, what does it mean? Lens makers formula. Means, a technician who prepare the lens to attain the dissolved focal length, the material is to be grinded over the machine. So that is lens makers formula. You should use a formula to prepare a lens. Whatever you need its focal length and that dissolved focal length corresponding a lens is to be constructed by a technician by using a formula which is known as lens makers formula. Formula which relates, which gives the relation among the quantities of focal length, refractive indices of surrounding and the material medium, radius of curvature of the spherical surfaces, known as lens makers formula. Okay. A formula which gives the relation among these quantities is known as lens makers formula. Okay? Now, how we can uh, derive this lens makers formula? Let us see. So, every time we give the image formed by the lens directly object keeping over here, real object, and its corresponding final image is showing outside. But in between this mechanism, we never show anywhere, but there is a lot of need to discuss this point because there is a, a confusion why we are taking directly this image actually before forming this second image and one image which is already formed inside the lens. So, in practice, we never show this image formed by the first refracting surface which is inside the glass inside the lens. 
so always we are showing that there is a lens and the object is keeping somewhere in front of it and its corresponding final image is found over here so this is the general way by which we are showing the image formation when object is keeping in front of the lens okay so this situation is always showing to understand or to solve the problems but actually what is happening so here this is the final image formed final image formed before uh, forming the final image one more image will be formed inside the lens that is by the refraction at the first refracting surface okay whenever the light is uh, started from this object real object and incident on the lens this is the first refracting surface this is second refracting surface first refracting surface a p1 b second refracting surface a p2 b yes refraction takes place at first refracting surface a p1 b by which so first image is formed that is i1 which is inside the lens for our convenience we are showing outside it is difficult to show inside by the geometry therefore we are showing outside for our convenience doesn't mean it is formed outside actually this dotted lines are shown which indicates indirectly this image is forming inside the lens therefore so this medium is refractive index mu2 densar medium this is lens material medium so it's a densar medium that is mu2 so in this medium first image is formed that is i1 by the refraction at first surface a p1 b and again after refraction at first surface it is incident on the second refracting surface again it undergoes refraction and finally giving its image here in the second step so this is formed in air medium object is in air medium or any other first medium and its final image is formed in the same medium so on both the sides of this lens so medium is same mu1 and mu1 so final image and uh, object both are surrounding medium that is in same medium whose refract index mu1 but the lens refract index is mu2 so there are two steps to find finally image formed by the lens step 1 the refraction takes place at first refracting surface and its corresponding image i1 is formed inside the lens and this serves as an object to the second refracting surface and again suffers a refraction and giving its corresponding image finally outside there are two steps because the light is taking two refractions at two refracting surfaces one is a p 1 b other one is a p 2 b okay now let us go for refraction formally already we discussed uh, earlier that previous concept that is refracting surface spherical refracting surface there are two types convex and concave spherical refracting surfaces and refraction takes place through those refracting surfaces and refraction formulas are derived already we have done so many problems over those formula but again we are going to use the refraction formula for first refracting surface and for second refracting surface so let us go for one by one first refracting surface and second refracting surface okay so refraction takes place at first refracting surface so refraction formula refraction takes place as first refracting surface a see this is uh, p1 this is b this is a, a refracting surface this is first refracting surface that is a p1 b object is keeping here this is uh, in a first medium whose refracting index is uh, mu1 this is u and the light incident on it so undergoes refraction 
this is center C1, its radius of curvature say R1. Okay, now its corresponding image is formed somewhere here. So this is I1. Okay, now see here this is image distance, image distance for first image after the fraction at the first refracting surface A P1 B. Okay, this is object and this is a final image. Image is formed in densar medium. Object is in rarer medium. Image formed in densar medium. Refraction takes place into densar. Therefore, we start the uh, uh, start with image while writing the refraction formula. Already, this logic and fundamental was given earlier in previous concept. That is. While taking the refraction formula, okay, refraction at first refracting surface, refraction at first refracting surface that is A P one B. Okay, this is a refraction. Takes place at first refracting surface, and write the refraction formula. Refraction formula including sign convention, including sign con convention. Including sign convention, refraction formula. Refraction formula. See here. So while writing the refraction formula, start with image. Image formed in second medium. Therefore, whose refract mix mu two by its image distance v dash minus object is in the first medium whose refract mix mu one by its distance is u. Whatever the order we consider over here, the same order we have to take in RHS. Mu two minus mu one by R one. This is R one. So equation one. This is refraction formula. When the refraction takes place at first refracting surface A P one B. Okay. This is the first image which is formed inside the lens. Actually, here for convenience we are showing outside. And go for another one. So again, in the second step, refraction takes place at second refracting surface. See here, refraction, refraction at second refracting surface. Second refracting surface. A P two B. Okay. Again, consider the second refracting surface. This is second refracting surface. This is part first part. This is second part. Okay. Second refracting surface A P two B. A P two B. Now. Now this image, image formed by the first refracting surface, which is inside the lens, this serves as an object. Which object? Virtual object to this second refracting surface. Means this serves as an serves as a virtual object. See, this is I one. Then refraction takes place, and final image given here. Right? Why it is virtual object? This I one image formed by the first refracting surface, which serves as uh, an object to the second refracting surface. So, which object? Virtual object. Why it is virtual? The light converges to that point. Okay, the light is. Uh, Uh, tending to travel in uh, towards this point or converges to this point 
the point of convergence taken to be virtual object. Therefore, finally refraction takes place as it travelling from Dinsar into Rera. This is mu2 and here it is mu1. Means this is a mu2 lens medium, material medium. Now, the final position of this is mu1 of course. This is mu1 and final position of the image is from pole or from optic center that is V here and from this point to this point it is already we know that V dash ok so taking a refraction formula here so image distance and object distance this first image serves as an object to second refracting surface as virtual object and this object distance is V dash that is taking from pole P2 and this final image taking from pole of spherical refracting surface. Now, so light is or, uh, light is traveling from Densar into Rerar. Refraction takes place into Rerar. Final image formed in uh, Rerar medium. Therefore, uh, taking the refraction formula with sign convention. See, refraction formula with sign convention or including sign convention including sign convention or otherwise directly we can write it as including sign convention sign convention including sign convention refraction formula refraction formula right what is the refraction formula how we can write it same rule start with image final image is formed in rare R medium it's the refractor it's mu1 by its corresponding distance v minus object is in which medium lens medium so first image is where in the lens therefore it is in uh, second medium that is mu2 therefore object is that image serves as an object here so object medium is mu2 mu2 by v dash is equal to mu1 same order mu1 minus mu2 by r2 right here in this equation mu2 by v dash minus mu1 by u is equal to mu2 minus mu1 by r1 this is equation 1 here so mu2 minus mu1 so to keep this same order 2 minus 1 here 2 minus 1 here 1 minus 2 to make the same order so I will change this mu1 by v minus mu2 by v dash is equal to minus or otherwise mu2 minus mu1 by minus r2 this is equation 2 refraction formula this is the refraction formula when light takes place refraction at first refracting surface this is the formula and uh, again one more time second time the light undergoes a refraction at second refracting surface its corresponding refraction formula is finally obtained that is equation 2 now whenever these two refracting surface are, surfaces are joining together these two are joining together you will get a lens so very simple and very logical approach this this uh, spherical refracting surface this spherical refracting surface these two are joining together these two are joining together in order to get the lens okay when these two are joining together definitely their corresponding refraction formulae are also added together when these two are adding and put together you will get Lens. for which their corresponding refraction formulas are also added together you will get lens makers formula let us see when we add these two equations equation 1 and 2 what kind of equation we can get let us see let us verify see here now add these two equations this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 
so equation 1 and 2 see here mu1 by v minus mu2 by v dash mu2 by v dash minus mu1 by u is equal to mu2 minus mu1 by r1 and second one is mu1 by v minus mu2 by v dash is equal to mu2 minus mu1 by minus r then add these two equations now see here mu2 by v dash minus mu2 by v dash these two gets cancelled now remaining value mu1 here mu1 by u minus mu1 by u here mu1 by v mu1 mu1 taking common 1 by v here plus this is minus 1 by u which is equal to mu2 minus mu1 mu2 minus mu1 and taking common this mu2 minus mu1 and remaining will be 1 by r1 is positive this is negative 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 ok so this is the final answer after adding these two equations again modify this equation now I am going to modify this equation see this is So modifying this, so mu1 take this side, but 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. It is a Lenz formula. Therefore, instead of 1 by v minus 1 by u, we can put this 1 by f. And mu1 take this side, mu2 by mu1 minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So this is Lenz maker's formula. This is lens makers formula. So by using this formula, a technician can construct or prepare a lens by grinding it over the machine and the radii of curvature are designed in such a way that to get desired focal length of the lens. Okay. Now if the lens is keeping, now the lens is keeping in a medium, air medium, then lens is keeping in air medium C. This is a refract index mu2 and a surrounding medium is air. Mu1 equal to 1, here mu1 equal to 1. And put 1 here. So in surrounding medium that is air medium, in such case, this formula leads to, this formula leads to 1 by F is equal to mu2 by mu1. Actually here for a lens, suppose, Suppose for a lens, its refract when its mu2 is equal to mu and surrounding mu1 is equal to 1, mu1 is equal to 1. Therefore, by substituting these values, mu2 is mu by 1 minus 1, you will get 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So, this is finally lens makers formula. So, this formula is also lens makers formula, but whenever the lens which is keeping in a surrounding medium whose refract to mix is mu1 under which we are getting 1 by f is equal to mu2 by mu1 minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. This is a relative refractive mix. Relative refractive mix. Suppose if the given lens which is keeping in surrounding medium whose refractive mix is 1 and material medium refractive mix is mu then substituting those values mu by 1 minus 1 then you will get finally 1 by f is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 so this is lens makers formula but here the lens makers formula this is obtained including sign convention so you should keep it in your mind including sign convention why because here the refraction formula that including sign convention mentioned clearly. So, why sir, how we can understand over here including sign convention? Yes, this fundamental formula already derived in refraction, uh, spherical refracting surfaces where the derivation shown clearly and the sign convention is taken into account there and uh, uh, finally we obtained this refraction formula so that finally we are uh, simply writing this including sign convention and taking refraction formula for first refracting surface 
and here also including sign convention taking refraction formula for second refracting surface and these two surfaces are clubbed or joining together okay then you will get finally the uh, uh, lens then their corresponding refraction formulae are added together as that of these two are clubbing together or joining together similarly these two equations are joined together means adding together then you will get finally so lens makers formula so this lens makers formula keep in your mind it is very important note this lens makers formula is not for convex lens and it is not for concave lens alone it is not for convex lens alone it is not for concave lens alone it is a lens it is concerned to the lens not for convex alone not for concave alone for our convenience we consider convex lens if you take concave lens also you will get same answer by the same refraction formula and joining them and adding these two equations and simplify definitely you will find the same formula as that of the convex lens therefore no need to get any kind of confusions because here the lens formula either you consider convex lens or concave lens you should get you should find the same formula okay now whenever you are using this lens form lens makers formula in solving the problems again we should apply one more time sign conventions already sign conventions are used over here so in deriving the formula one time sign convention is over and again while solving the problem we should go for second time sign convention while solving the problem why because here so lens makers formula obtained for convex lens and for concave lens same formula therefore when you are solving the problem without using the second time sign convention you may get same answers so that definitely wrong because convex lens is giving one kind of result concave lens gives other kind of result the result definitely different for different uh, the results definitely we should use their corresponding sign conventions next time second time thereby we can find the results definitely will be different so uh, in order to get those a uh, different results then again we go for second time sign convention why because here the sign convention second time is used to distinguish clearly so this is convex lens this is concave lens this is a converging in nature it has diverging in nature so in order to say this clear idea and distinguish convex and concave lens so definitely we go for the sign convention for second time then only you can distinguish the these lenses which is concave which is convex what are their results definitely their results should be different okay the lens makers formula has its own limitations what are the limitations number 1 lens should be thin thin lens this formula only applicable for thin lens why because object distance image distance these two are measured from pole of the spherical refracting surfaces when we consider the lens if it is a thick lens then the distance between the two spherical refracting surfaces that gap the distance is not counted in it therefore for thick lens we should not use directly this formula this is only limited for thin lens that is the limitation one and limitation two the surrounding medium on both the sides of the lens should be same surrounding medium see here this is a lens okay it's a refract on x mu2 surrounding medium mu1 and other side mu1 okay the surrounding medium that should be same on both the sides of the lens then only this formula lens makers formula is to be used suppose 
if these limitations are violated then we have to go for refraction formula at first refracting surface and at second refracting surface to solve the problems keep in our mind so very very important so point number 1 the lens must be thin for thick lens we should not use directly this formula so lens must be thin and second limitation the surrounding medium on both the sides of the lens should be same otherwise this formula is not to be used okay so here surrounding medium for example this is one side mu1 lens material medium mu2 and other side of the material other side of the surrounding medium which is say mu3 this is mu1 this is mu2 and this is mu3 so in this case we should not use lens makers formula we use refraction formula at first refracting surface and the refraction formula at second refracting surface and solve them you will get its answer whatever the question is asked based on this uh, this condition that there are uh, three different media on one side of the lens mu1 other side mu3 and the lens uh, material medium has refracted to next mu2 under these circumstances we should use refraction formula for two refracting surfaces and solve them so we will get proper answer okay so these are the limitations of lens makers formula and one more point so focus points there are two focus points for a lens so whether it is convex or concave lens so we should have two focus points on both the sides of this lens so here first focus point first focus point so how do you get first focus point when object is keeping at focus point at focus point such that after refraction the light rays parallel to principal axis its corresponding image goes to infinity means when image goes to infinity its corresponding position of the object is said to be first focus point which is taken to be u object distance is equal to minus f1 sign convention and v is infinity now using lens makers formula that 1 by f is uh, instead of this one we can write 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 here 1 by v infinity minus of minus plus 1 by f1 mu minus 1 into same now after simplifying this 1 by f1 is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 right this is the first focus point and go for the second focus point so when a, a parallel beam of light is incident on the lens means object is at infinity keeping at infinity then finally after refraction the light rays are converges to a point where the image is formed this is image position and it is the second focus point whose distance is image distance v is equal to plus f2 according to sign convention u is infinity again substituting these values in the lens makers formula 1 by v is f2 minus 1 by minus or minus c u is equal to minus infinity of course 1 by minus infinity which is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 now simplify this 1 by f2 is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 so this is first focus point equation and this is the equation for second focus point so once you look at these two equations both are equal what do you find here both are equal mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 means these two focus points are f1 is equal to f2 finally f1 is equal to f2 these two are equal means when the lens is keeping in surrounding medium on both the sides the surrounding medium is same where the lens must have two focus points which are at equidistant from the optic center 
means here f1 is equal to f2 means this is a lens for this lens suppose this is mu1 and this is mu2 this is sorry this is mu1 this is mu2 now the focus point first focus point f1 which is at a distance so small f1 and second focus point f2 which is at a distance so f2 of course small f2 these two must be equal whenever the surrounding medium on both the sides of this lens is same therefore f1 is equal to f2 here is proved because this lens formula is lens makers formula used mu minus 1 here mu is a refractive index of the lens by relative refractive index that is air medium is taken into account on both the sides therefore we are getting this mu minus 1 so this lens makers formula 1 by f is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 so so this is taking this formula is taking that is mu minus 1 whenever the surrounding medium is air or vacuum vacuum so air or vacuum almost refract mix is same one taken to be one therefore so whenever the medium surrounding medium it is vacuum or air uh, uh, in which the lens is kept where so mu minus 1 is to be used means indirectly we use the same medium on both the sides of the lens and definitely the focus points are at equidistant f1 is equal to f2 suppose sorry for uh, first two mediums are one side mu1 and other side mu3 on both the sides of the lens surrounding medium is different then what happens the focus points f1 and f2 are not equal that is f1 is not equal to f2 they are different so we will see in the next video that in detail okay i will explain it detail how we are getting the focus points whenever the surrounding medium on both the sides different then f1 and f2 how we can find so that will be explained in the next video